State University Texans basketball program. In the center of our podium is head coach Misty Wilson. To her right, the far end, is Brianna Fuller. Brianna is a senior forward from Huntsville, Texas. To the near side, we have Raven McGrath. Raven is a senior guard from Grandview, Texas. Coach, a, uh, a, a game that was a grinder type of contest, and uh, unfortunately, after the first two possessions you had, it was like there was a lid on the bucket, and good shots just didn't fall. They did. I, I felt like we were getting some good opportunities. Of course, turnovers in the first half hurt us, but I felt like we were getting some good opportunities, and they just weren't going in. But uh, yeah, the defensive effort, you, you certainly can't fault. Um, it wasn't much for the fans, though. Now, at one point, the Lady Buffs had opened up a 15-point lead in the second half. Your team is not a team of quitters. They didn't. They cut it back to four points, you know, largely because of Raven and uh, Ashmore hitting some threes. Uh, yeah, they're they're relentless, and that's one of the things we hang our hat on. And um, you know, we knew coming in that it was going to be a tough game. We knew we could defend. Um, it was just a matter of scoring, and um, luckily the lid came off in the second half somewhat, and we just weren't able to kind of finish that run like we did the second time we played them. Rena, we'll start with you. You had 11 points, a, a team high, eight rebounds. I know it, it was tough going inside. Tell us a little bit about the game from your perspective. <clears throat> um, we knew what we were coming into, so we had to have um, a different mindset. Um, we knew we had to move around their bigs. They have big, strong girls, and they work hard. So we knew we had to do something different as far as getting in the paint, getting quick buckets, and trying to take them off the dribble. We knew we had to rebound, and we slapped up a little, and, and that's kind of how they got, it, got ahead. They got a, a few offensive rebounds, so that's kind of what hurt us. Raven, you're you're a shooter. Eleven, uh, twelve points. You were four, six from the line. A pair of threes. Tell us the challenges that you face when you get good looks and the shots don't fall, but you know you got to keep going. Um, uh, you know, it's just a normal challenge. You gotta uh, you gotta fight through it, though. Um, some shots are gonna be good and they won't fall. Some shots are gonna be bad and they will fall. You know, um, so you just gotta fight through whatever happens and um, just keep playing and. I think that's what uh, we did for the most part. You know, um, you can't always win them all, but I feel like our team really fought through, and uh, I'm proud of every one of them. Questions for the Texans, Coach. First of all, Brianna, just how far she's come offensively since she came in last season, and the things, especially the last half of the season, was able to do. Uh, yeah, leaps and bounds um, between last year and, and this year, and. Um, you know, the things that, even the things that y'all don't see are the things that Bree does. Um, you know, early when she wasn't able to play, she was really helpful to her teammates and um, giving us every ounce that she had in practice because she knew that would make us better and that would make those younger girls better. So, um, you know, she's she's been tremendous for us this year and um, been definitely a force in the paint. Coach, uh, West Texas has had the target on their back since the season started. What was it about this team that just uh, that y'all managed to do? Not only did this game, but uh, in the two previous meetings, just giving fits throughout the game. Uh, well, the first game, I don't know that we played all that great a defense. It was a pretty high-scoring affair, um, but we made adjustments for that second game, and, and they worked really well. Uh, we switched up our defense and tried to keep them off balance. But um, today we played mostly man and. Uh, you know, Raven did an outstanding job on Sasha, uh, keeping her in front and just giving her fits and pressuring her. And um, you know, I think I think they just dug in and, and played great defense. You know, when you're playing against the best, you kind of have to focus in and a little more than you maybe would against a different opponent. And I think that's just what happened. Raven, the big three that made it a four-point game there early in the, uh, in the in the fourth quarter. What's your thought process right at that moment? Um. You know, I, I was thankful that it went in, and then I was just hoping that we could build upon that. And um, uh, you know, it's it's hard to um, not let the, the the ball not scoring um, get to you. But uh, I was just hoping that with that four point, uh, with us only being four points behind, um, that we would really be able to uh, build on that and keep going and go on a run. Um, and unfortunately, it didn't happen. But. 
you've jumped roped at Midnight Madness. You won a Pop Loose title out here, I guess, three years ago. Just talk about your career at Charlton and how it's been. Um, I'm just very thankful for all the people that I've met, um, all the opportunities that we've had, and all the memories that I've made. It's been a great, great run, and um, I don't regret any part of it. Can I help answer that? Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, Raven is is probably one of the, one going to be one of the hardest uh, people to replace, uh, just because stats never tell the story. Um, and you know, she never got all conference awards. She never got all the awards that everybody else coveted. But um, you know, she did she did everything everything that we asked her to. And she started out as a walk on and ended up being uh, what she is today and the player that you see today and yesterday. Um, just outstanding and probably one of the toughest kids I've ever met. Between the two young ladies that are up here with you and Jordan Ashmore, you've got some seniors that have won a lot of games for you. We have this uh, Megan, uh, Morgan, and Raven, all four-year seniors. Um, program program builders is, is what they are. And, um, and Bree coming in two years, it doesn't seem like she's only been there two years. It seems like she's been there so much longer because of the, re the relationship she has with Tarleton. Um, but like I told our seniors in the locker room, you know, I just told them thank you for for the the direction that they've got us going. Well, we certainly appreciate you sharing your thoughts with us after the game today, and thank you for that. Thank, thank you. you.